In this tutorial you will learn how to format and use record center. You can change how records are displayed, field order and field properties. Click the down arrow button for more options. Select edit record layout. Fields can be moved with the mouse. You can change the placement of the caption. Alignment tools are provided. Change the field width. A width matching tool is provided. Click on a field to change its properties. We'll add a space in the caption. Fields can be made visible, read only and required. Text can be formatted, in this case, capitalized. Choose how date time fields are displayed and printed. In some editions, drop down lists can be created. We'll give the department field a drop down list. Change the format to drop down list and click edit list. Click add. And create your list. In all editions, photos can be stored as a blob in the database. In some editions, you can choose to store images to a file instead. Create a text field to hold the image pathway. And change the format to image path. Click the settings button. Designate the folder. Then insert the file naming convention using database fields. Add the file type extension. Click OK when finished. When capturing new photos, they will be stored to a file and the image will appear in the record. In your design template, be sure to change the photo placeholder to the image pathway field. There is a shortcut to edit the card template under the card rendering. If you have moved fields, click layout. And select set tab order. Here you can change how fields are tabbed. There are options to import and export your record layout so you can revert to a previous layout if needed. Making changes to the database connection may cause changes to your layout. Most day-to-day -day operations are performed on the main menu as these tasks provide guided operations. In Record Center you can manually perform the same tasks and more. Advanced searches are available. You can add new, edit, delete and print records. Filters allow you to find a subset of records and advanced sorting is available. Let's create a simple filter. Where last name starts with the value C. Name the filter and save. You can now scroll through records with last name beginning with C. To clear the filter, click the clear filter link. Switch between single record and all record spreadsheet view. In spreadsheet view multi-record operations can be performed. Batch edit, delete and print. Click the down arrow button for more operations. In advanced editions, you can export data, export images, import images and automatically generate image pathway fields. These functions are very useful for managing the size of your database. In advanced editions, records can be imported from other data sources. Click Database Settings. Select your data source. Map Fields, then Import. You will be able to select which records you import. ID Flow is capable of working with databases containing billions of records through the main menu tasks. In such cases, there is a method to filter records before entering Record Center to improve its performance. To enable, click Setup. Select Configure Workstation Settings. Click Record Center. 
and allow user to select records to load. When this is enabled, options are provided for choosing how records are loaded. Notice that the filter we created earlier is available. See the next tutorial for configuring the guided enrollment process.